Guys, today we're doing something so fun. I'm so excited for this video because we are making a digital vision board together. To be honest with you guys, I used to think that vision boards were kind of stupid, a hoax, but last year I made my first vision board and honestly, a lot of the things that I put on there actually came to fruition. So it's kind of crazy to see how just putting images together of the things that you want to attract into your life can actually impact your life, your reality. And I think part of the reason that it works is because the more you look at these images and visions, the more more you remind yourself of the things that you're working toward. Images really create emotions within yourself that therefore make you want to go and get those things. So I think there's a lot of power behind putting together a vision board to really help you attract into your life the things that you desire. So today we're going to make a vision board. I'm going to walk through step by step how to actually go about making a digital vision board and I'm going to put mine together while we're doing it. So if you are curious about making a digital vision board, you maybe have never done it before, but you want to give it a try this year you want to make 2024 your year, the year that you attract all of the amazing things into your life, then this video is for you. As a side note, I do apologize. I've been battling a cold since I got back home from Christmas. So I do apologize if I sound a little, you know, nasally congested because I am. But with that, let's go ahead and get started on our digital vision boards today, you guys. I'm so excited. I've been looking so forward to putting mine together over these last couple of weeks. So first things first, you're going to need to spend a little bit of time actually brainstorming the things that you want to attract into your life. So that's step one. I actually did, maybe it was last week or yeah, I think it was a week ago, I put together my 2024 goals and I broke them down into personal health and wellness and then career. So I posted that video a week ago. If you haven't checked that out, you haven't set your big goals for 2024 yet, make sure you check that one out. But regardless of doing that, you can just kind of think about some of the things you really want to attract into your life this year in 2024. It can be anything from like, I want to travel more to I really want to focus on cultivating strong friendships to I really want to prioritize my relationship with my significant other to I really want to focus on eating well-balanced colorful meals it can be anything that you want and it doesn't really have to be as specific as you would be if you're setting goals it can be really just about like you know things you want to attract into your life things that you want to become this year so just spend a little bit of time brainstorming and again if you haven't done the 2024 kind of goal setting I would recommend doing that as a first step just to get some clarity on the things that you want this year for me some of the things I'm thinking about are you know financially what I want to be making from my YouTube channel this year, how many subscribers I want to achieve. Some other things though on the top of my mind are, you know, my pregnancy and making sure that I bring a healthy baby into the world. I'm going to actually turn this room into our nursery. So I'm thinking I'll probably, you know, include a lot of nursery inspiration on my vision board. I do really want to travel this year, both with the baby when we have her and maybe before we have the baby as well. So just going to put some travel images on mine for sure. Some of the other things I really want to focus on are my friendships. I really want to focus and prioritize on building friendships, focusing on friendships that are really positive and just be really intentional about the friends that I have in my inner circle. So that's something I'm thinking about. Eating healthy, of course, getting into the gym. Those are always important to me. Reading, I love reading. I love being a bookworm. So just anything like that, you can kind of just think about some of those things that you want in your life. All right, so step two, of course, is gonna be finding images. We need images for our vision board. We need to find pictures of the things that we want to attract into our lives. So there's a bunch of different ways you can do this, but my personal favorite favorite is to go to Pinterest. Now, one thing you can of course do is go to Google and find pictures of things. That's nice to do if you have something very specific in mind, like a specific car. Go find an exact image of the exact car that you want and take a screenshot of that. But if you're not entirely sure exactly maybe what car or maybe a good example for me is like, I know I want to go on a domestic trip somewhere that I haven't been before, but I don't really know where. There's a bunch of places in the US that I haven't been before. So I maybe I'm just going to go, you know, source a bunch of pictures of you know, places that make me feel inspired that are domestic within the US. And, you know, maybe that'll ultimately lead me somewhere that I do want to go. So step two, we are going to sit down, go on Pinterest or Google, find images of the things that we want to attract into our lives. And what I like to do on Pinterest is I'll actually go ahead and create a board on Pinterest. That's like for my 2024 vision board. And that's where I'll go ahead and just, I'll just like start saving a bunch, a bunch of images onto that board on Pinterest because because at first I just kind of want to like collect as many images that make me feel inspired as possible. For now, we're just gonna go ahead, comb through Pinterest and Google and save a bunch of images onto basically a Pinterest board to kind of get, get some ideas and visions flowing. So 
I just spent the last probably 30 or so minutes saving tons of images on Pinterest. So it looks like I have about 71 pins saved right now on my board. I just did all sorts of things, like anything that felt inspirational, felt like the 2024 vibe to me, I saved it. So we have things from traveling to hanging out with friends to baby stuff, nursery, flowers, cameras and stuff to make me think about my YouTube channel. And now basically what I'm gonna do for step three is I need to actually start putting these pictures somewhere, right? So now that I have these saved, I'm going to just kind of start essentially taking screenshots of each of these and saving them onto my computer of the ones that resonate the strongest with me. And then I am actually going to put them on a PowerPoint slide, but you could do like Canva, you could do a Word document, but I like PowerPoint just because first of all, everyone has PowerPoint point I think on their computers and it's really easy to like paste the images on there and then you can actually save it down as like a PDF when you're done but we're saving down images onto our computer so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that So I screenshotted a bunch of my favorite pictures and now I'm just gonna go ahead and go into PowerPoint and I'm gonna just create a new blank presentation. Part of the reason I like this is because it's landscape and I actually like to save this as like the background to my computer a lot of times or my iPad and then you can also obviously do like a vertical version if you wanna save it as the background to your phone. But basically from here, all I'm literally gonna do is I'm just gonna start pasting in the images that I screenshotted. I screenshotted a bunch them and the next step is to start arranging them onto your document presentation canva page whatever and i like to personally do a little bit of organization to it like last year i did one section was really focused on like health and fitness and food one section was focused on travel and kind of like group it out but you obviously don't have to do that it can just be like whatever aesthetic you want you just want to start arranging it onto your page until it feels like very visually pleasing to you and it kind of encapsulates all of the things you want to attract into your life for this year so i'm gonna go ahead and start arranging mine onto my vision board. All right, you guys, so I have put together all of my images onto my vision board as you guys can see here. So I actually did go back to Pinterest and you know, if there was a spot that I felt like was missing or like for example, I have in here like I attract positive healthy relationships, but I didn't have an image that I felt like represented my relationship with my husband. So I went and found a picture that resonated with that. And so of course you could always, you know, go back and find more images if you feel like something is missing as you start to put it together. But that's basically it. Once you have all of your images on your vision board and it feels good to you, you, you basically can just go ahead and save this down as a PDF. You can take a screenshot of it, whatever feels good for you and save it wherever you want. You could print it out. You could, you know, send it to Staples, have them print out a really big version. If you want a physical one that you want to hang up in your, you know, office or something, you can save it to the background of your computer. You can save it to the background of your iPhone, whatever. And I just like to save it down so that I am reminded to look at it often, but just to kind of go through mine, just because I want to, you know, again, speak it into existence. So up in my upper left corner, I have my vision for like YouTube and that type of thing. I have the 100K plaque on here, you guys. It feels like a stretch. It feels absolutely crazy, but you know what? A vision board is about dreaming big and putting things on here that you may not feel as realistic, but you still want to attract that into your life. So you know what? I was like, I'm gonna include it. And you never know, like it could absolutely happen. I do want a new camera. So I have a couple pictures of cameras on here. Oh, I need to bring this photo forward. Sometimes the hardest part is arranging things to be in the right like order. Okay, this is better. I have a picture of an office on here because I really want to redo my office. Money, because we're attracting money, we're attracting wealth into our lives. I love having books on mine. Books are something that I've really come to love in the last year and I have a big reading goal this year. So I just love including pictures of books on my vision board. I love including little sayings here and there. Like I can afford anything, I am successful. These are affirmations and things that I want to remind myself of often. Of course I have pictures of baby and nursery. So I included some pictures of that down here. Like with baby, it's kind of just like, I wanna make sure I'm attracting, you know, a healthy baby into my life. You know. I 
I hope that I bring them into the world without any health issues and no complications. Pictures of my nursery inspiration. I really wanna to travel to Europe this year and especially like end of the year, maybe November, December, I think it would be really fun to go to like Germany and go to like Christmas markets and that type of thing. So I have that in here. And then of course, lastly, I sort of have my like health and fitness. So some workout, you know, inspo, images of healthy foods and things like that and included my body is strong and healthy. So that's basically it for me for 2024. Of course, there's so many other goals that I have, little goals and things like that. But these were kind of like the main themes and things I really wanted to like constantly be reminded of to stay positive, to stay focused and to work towards my dreams, manifest my dreams and achieve my goals this year. But you guys, that's it. That's how you make a digital vision board to manifest your dreams. So let me know if you did it along with me. I would love to hear some things that you put on your vision board, things you want to attract into your life this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful and if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up button and if you're new here I'd love for you to stick around I love to post you know inspirational content as you can tell from my vision board I'm entering pregnancy and mom era so I'm definitely gonna be posting a lot of that in the coming months and year but I also love to post you know health and fitness how you how to make money and kind of overall like healthy wealthy girly types of videos so if you guys like that type of content make sure you hit that subscribe button but I think that's everything I wanted to leave with, leave you with today I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch up with you next time Thank you.